Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm starting a new series solving uh, lit code problems in Python and uh, I will also try to solve it in Java as well. So for everyone who doesn't know, lit code is a great website to find uh, interview questions and interesting problems uh, in computer science, mostly about data structures, about algorithms, and these are very, very common in uh, interview questions into big tech companies. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start from the first one, which is uh, the two sum problem. Okay, at first I'm going to, to solve it into Python 3, and later on I will try in Java as well. So the two sum problem says that we are given an array of uh, integers or a list in Python and we need to return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. So we get an array of integers and also a specific target and we need to find the indices of two numbers that they add up to that target. So we can assume that each in input would have exactly one solution and uh, we cannot use the same element twice. For, here is an example here. When we get this array to 7, 11, 15 and the target 9, we need to return the, uh, the list or array 0, 1, which correspond to the indices 0, 1. 0, 1 are uh, the elements here, 2 and 7, which they add up to 9, which is the target. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. Uh, the easiest and the most obvious way to solve this would be to iterate uh, through the uh, list at first and then create another nested loop to iterate again and to find uh, the elements which add up to the target, but that would be too easy and uh, the complexity, the time complexity of that would be n squared, which is not very efficient. So uh, we're going to try uh, a more efficient way to solve this by implementing a dictionary. Or in other programming languages like Java, it might be called a hash map or just a map. So uh, we want to implement a dictionary because uh, in a dictionary, the complexity of getting uh, the operation of getting an element by key is constant, so that would make our uh, our algorithm more efficient. Okay, so what I want to do first is I want to create a dictionary which has as keys uh, the complements of each number in the list I'm getting. So, for example, for uh, this for two. I want to save a key value in the dictionary with the key nine, with the key seven, which is the complement of two uh, for this target nine, and as a value I want to save the uh, index, which is zero. Okay, so first let's create an empty dictionary. I'm going to call this complement dictionary, and it's going to be an empty dictionary. Now I want to iterate through the list I'm getting, through this uh, nums list, and I'm going to do this for ah, sorry about that. Okay, so what I'm doing here is um, this is I'm using the enumerate function in Python which can be used for every iterable like uh, a list nums. Uh, this way I can get the index and the specific element of the list. Okay, so now I have access to the index and to that specific number. Um, now I want to try if uh, I can find the complement of this number in my dictionary, okay? So in the first iteration, the dictionary would be empty, of course, but uh, we want to make sure to find it in the future, in the uh, next iterations of the for loop. Okay, so... So I want to check if this number 
uh, is in the dictionary, a complement dictionary. Okay, so if this number is uh, in the complement dictionary, then I want to return the index uh, of this uh, number and the complement. Okay, so that would be easy in this case. So I'm just going to return the uh, a, a list with the indices I need. So that would be I, w I was going to return the complement dict with the key val with the key value of num, and the second would be the index. So what we're doing in this case that is that we are getting uh, the index of the complementary, and we are also returning the index of the number as well. And else, so in case we don't have it in the complement dictionary then we're going to uh, add this complement and its index. So we're going to do something like this. Com complement dict with uh, target snum and i is equal to i. So what this does is that we are, uh, give, we are entering a new key value into the dictionary which should be the complement of this number and as a value the index okay so this should work but we should take into account for cases when we cannot find a solution so I'm just going to return an empty list in that case okay so let's try to run this code it's pending Oh, I, it seems we have uh, a runtime error. Ah, ah, so we have a typo here. Okay, let's run this code again. Okay, so this seems to be working fine. Let's submit this. And it is working well. So it is faster than 79% of other submissions. Okay, so this is the solution for the two sum problem in Python. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I hope you, you found this helpful. Don't forget to uh, subscribe for more videos. I'm going to continue with this series, trying to solve all the problems in uh, the lead code list of problems. In the next video I'm going to solve the same problem to some but in Java. Make sure again to share, like and support the channel. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.